I actually knew that very early on. Um, for some odd reason, when I was a kid, even like, I think I was in like maybe third or fourth grade. I remember very specifically, there was a show on called Dark Shadows that uh, was a soap opera with vampires. There was something, I don't know, my generation, we were really hooked on this like weird, strange. I mean, it was so cheesy. There was rubber bats on strings. And I just thought, that's what I want to do. I want to, <laughs> I want to do that. <laughs> that's hard because they're, um, you know, different roles you love for different reasons. I'd say uh, overall it's Murphy just because I got to play in his world for so long. And what was great about him is he had so many iterations of, you know, what he was evolving into. So instead of being one character, I got to really play like four or five versions of Murphy throughout, you know, five seasons. So that's that was probably my most fulfilling in that sense. But other roles, you know, you love because of the emotional depth they have or the journey that they get to go on. So it's, it's, it is hard to pick. <laughs> There's a lot of great moments, a lot of great moments. Some of them, they just happen spontaneously. Like on Z Nation, they were very good with us in letting us uh, sort of not not completely take over the character, but, but adjust the character, you know? If we felt like we would say something differently or or, or maybe come up with an, a different line, a, a different reaction. They were very generous to us in that sense. So it was fabulous to be able to um, collaborate with the other actors. I know Kalita and I, who played Warren on the show, we had some really nice poignant moments that, you know, her and I would really hone and work to make sure that they were landing because we were both aware of how important it was that if you don't have that kind of honesty of that emotion between these two characters, which are butting heads most of the time, but if you don't have that underlying heart connection with those two, you kind of don't have a, a show. And so it, it was always beautiful for us to find those moments in the script and go like this, this spot here, you and I can, let's let's find something here, here let's do something. You know? And so that, that's always really fulfilling. You know, I did not know it was a student film. <laughs> so when I got there, it was very, very bare bones. And um, a lot of these people, it was sort of their first time doing a lot of this stuff. But everyone was super nice. And I, and I was happy to be there and support it and everything. And then when it came out, I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> um, so it was really great to sort of be in that environment of young, fresh talent coming together and, you know, doing their thing and then having something really cool come out of it and and you know I didn't know what intersexual was I was like I so I was educated on that level and I was like this is so cool I'm so interested in being part of this thing that probably not a lot of you know general public knows about so it was enlightening for me and also it you know it was rewarding at the same time Boy, I'll tell you, it was so hard. <laughs> so hard. One of the hardest things I've ever done. Mostly because um, uh, I wasn't supposed to be in a lot of the episode. They, you know, the plan was to write it so I wasn't in a lot of the scenes. I'm in about 90% of the scenes in the damn thing. And uh, by that point, they were cutting our budgets and cutting our shooting time. So I think we were only scheduled to shoot for like five days, which really wound up turning into seven because there's no way, there is no way you can shoot anything with heavy makeup and stunts and explosions. And I mean, we had everything in that episode too. You're not gonna be able to get it in five days. But what was great, and again, this is sort of my, my love of collaboration was I knew that I would have to rely I still have heavily on my AD and uh, my DP, uh, Alex Yellen, um, because one, they've been doing this a long time and they they both you know know how, how the machine works. So I, I knew I was gonna have to rely on their eyes um, quite a bit because I, um, I was gonna be in, in front of the camera a lot. So, and I didn't have time to 
be in the shot and then come back and look at the shot. I'd have to just rely on their opinion. And I'm like, how'd it look? <laughs> Did we get it? <laughs> because we just had to move, move, move. Victorious, uh, I, I, I mean, I didn't really do much in that. I mean, that one, I got to work with Fabio. <laughs> and yeah. Fabio is, you know, he's an iconic 70s character. That was kind of kind of great to get to uh, work with him. And he was really fun and really nice. But um, I think the Wizards of Waverly Place was probably my favorite, just because I like the character. I got to have exposed brains and, you know, he was a fun ghost to play. And, you know, I like playing him. He was He was more fun than the other characters, for sure. You know, I am writing a script right now. It's kind of a road trip movie. I actually wrote the script for Russell and myself. So um, we'll see how it goes. It's a, uh, a brother's road trip movie. I'm about to the point where I'm ready to have people, you know, including Russell read it. He hasn't even read it yet. I thought we've talked about it for a couple of years now. So yeah, I'm. Uh, it's one of the things I'm looking forward to. It's this funny, weird, dark comedy about these two half brothers who kind of drive each other insane so well it's uh amazing <laughs> it is uh it's a it's a new world to me you know to sort of have that kind of worldwide recognition of the work that you do um mostly because um you know, uh, this is my first series that I'd ever done. I've been on shows like Star Trek and uh, Buffy, and you know, but I was just on it for a day, so you know, no one real knew me, knew me. So, um, but to have uh, <laughs> sort of people from around the world hit you up and just like tell you how much they love you on a daily basis it's it's kind of amazing actually one of the, my favorite things to do are these conventions which actually russell and i have one coming up in july so i'm looking forward to that but um i love uh doing those uh because it's so nice to meet people face to face and also i sit there all day and just get love 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 coming at me from all directions no one comes to help me to you know, so everyone's just coming up, telling you how great you are and blah, blah, blah. It's been really nice. And like I said, it's it sort of astounds me that I get emails or text messages from around the world where, like, they even got this show in, you know, Kazbekistan, you know? Like, I don't even know where it is. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm glad you love the show. All right, well, yeah. be safe out there. <laughs>